Welcome, I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout, and we're working on the first level of expanding your vision, developing greater awareness of your peripheral vision, or what we call span of perception. How much, how much of the space around you are you seeing? Even as you think about it now, are you seeing more than you were before you asked yourself that question? How much of the space around me am I seeing? Notice how when we bring our attention to visual awareness, visual space, it turns on the switches, it opens up our awareness, it increases our perception of vision, of space, of light, of the dimensionality, the objects in that space. We come into our awareness in a greater way. Now, what we want to do is develop a habit and train ourselves into a mode of being always, constantly aware. Think of the ninja. Ninja training develops the ability to maintain awareness of all these levels of vision that we're going to be going into in this course at all times. Are you seeing the space around you? It's a reflex function, and yet we can, our minds can become distracted when we think about something in a focused, intense way, when we harden our mind onto some object of regard. We lose, there's a balance, we lose awareness some, somewhere else, and that's in our periphery. Under stress, we become generally less aware, less efficient, we see less, we hear less, we remember less. So our job at the start here is to reopen those gates, to open up, open up the doors of perception in the mind, to see all, all the gift of creation around us, starting with our visual space, 180 degrees, side to side, you can see. And associate that expanded visual awareness with the breath. It's like we're breathing in the space. We literally are. We're breathing in the air from that space that we're seeing. And when we do, when we relax, when we go into that open, focused mode, taking in our awareness of space, not constricting and constraining and tightening, but relaxing and loosening and opening, we will tend to take in a deeper breath. When we go into a worry or fear or anger mode, we'll tighten the visual, the muscles around the eye, the focusing muscles that we'll get into in the next levels. So we want to relax and open those. It's going to begin to open up the potential for clarity as well as span of perception. <sighs> relax your breath. And feel the relationship between breathing in the light with your eyes, breathing in the space with your lungs. We're taking in the, the, the life blood of creation, the living essence of space, and time, color, movement, form. We're allowing that en those energies, those patterns, those waveforms to flow fully into our being where they become reflected, focused, f become a fractal of their or original self. We have an image in the mind of the real space outside. There's the idea that everything you ever see is seen in this small space inside the skull in, by the brain. Well. We're going to look at the brain as a tool for the seeing, but the actual seeing takes place by the spirit, which when you're having an in-body experience, when you're home, when you're opening your awareness in this way, you're coming home and, and occupying yourself. It's the occupy yourself movement here. So you're occupying that visual cortex with your spirit body, which is like the grail, the holy 
Holy Grail that holds the consciousness and the breath supplies the oxygen that allows the retina, the highest oxygen demanding tissue in the body is actually the center of the retina even more than the rest of the retina which is much greater than any other part of the body. So we're breathing that life-giving oxygen so the electrical functions that oxygen is involved in it's the electron receiver the light through the eyes is the electron energizer so we have electrons high energy electrons is what our all of our cells operate on we have cellular vision every cell uh, literally sees its environment when it's a healthy cell. A cancer cell is a cell that can't see the other cells and it functions uh, as a loner, as if it's a single cell reproducing, uh, de-differentiating, not, not knowing it's a liver cell if it's in the liver, or a retinal cell if it's in the retina. <sighs> Your body will naturally go into a 10 second breath cycle when you go into a relaxed state where the parasympathetic system that controls focus of the eyes and digestion and circulation and all of the natural uh, internal regulatory functions, everything goes into balance in that 10 second breath cycle. You don't have to try to achieve it, but you can notice it, monitor it, intend for it. So this is something you can practice if you're reading, if you're driving, if you're uh, contemplating, if you're meditating, if you're walking, if you're eating. Check in. Notice your breath. Are you breathing sh more shallow, an upper chest, like a nearsighted pattern, a fear pattern? Are we pulling back from the world, making our visual world smaller? Are you breathing like a frightened animal, the deer in the forest that sees movement and it's looking, identifying a predator potential. Uh, or are you commanding? Are you being sovereign over your space, your visual space? You can see the stars. You are a king and queen of this entire universe that you see. Your visual space includes the entire Hubble sphere that we can see with, with telescopes. That is you. And again, it you see it, you recreate it in the visual cortex right here inside the skull. Everything you see, all the distance and space that you see is projected as a hologram from right here. Just as in physics, the current models include the very likely possibility that the real world, the consensual world out there of the stars may be a holographic projection from a two-dimensional or lower dimensional sphere of the divine creative consciousness, uh, just as the neurons, the shape of the neurons in the brain is exactly the same fractal shape, the same homologous shape as the shape of dark matter in, in the heavens. It's such a relief to go into that balanced, relaxed state, and you'll find that it will allow your vision to open up broader, wider, easier, and to sustain that for indefinite periods of time. In fact, you know, when we leave the physical body, we have immortality of that function. By itself, the vision can be perfect forever. And that's what we want to tap into even while we're here in the biology on the earth with the triggers that can we can uh, develop stress reactions to chronic stresses or adaptations to acute stresses we're going to break through those and relax and learn to recover our full potential so give that some practice and and then we'll go a little deeper in the next level